this deal, boy. He fucking with dead shot up in dead shot up dead around. I'm Fargo doing well, I'm Wells Fargo. This is deal, what just got paid like them new toes. For real. Fuck it, then I'm gone, I understand. We just sneak that bitch in the club, we ain't playing. It's crazy when you come out. Bitches never want you, none of this, I ain't telling sign out. It's crazy when you fuck up. If you ain't talking money, nigga, you just shut the fuck up. So tell the people who we got with us here today. It's Deal Boy, Deal Boy Daryl from North Charleston, South Carolina. All right, where you get the name Deal Boy from? Shit, I really originally from Russell Deal, so shit, I just been thinking of a Facebook name, and they fuck around and picked that shit right again, and they just wrong with that shit. Deal Boy, so what's it like growing up in Russell Deal? I mean, that shit like, kind of like any other place, it kind of teach you how to survive. Like, if you're not a survive day, then you can survive anyway, basically. Mm -hmm. Are you affiliated with any rap groups or anything like that? No, I just affiliated with myself. I affiliated with, I fuck with stack boys and strength of my peoples and shit. Like, mm -hmm. like I ain't no affiliations, no gang, no nothing. I don't even got no record label name. I just independent. Mm -hmm. Well, how you run into stack farm and well, yeah, shit, I been at know them boys and shit like that, but I just been younger, watching them boys grow up and you know, opportunities just present itself, so mm -hmm. that shit just like come like that. And you said the deal is Russell deal? Yeah, you got Russell deal and you got firm deal, but no disrespect, but ain't too much people really look at firm deal as a hood, so you really look, think about Russell deal and think about the deals and shit like that. Mm -hmm. Well, how you start rapping? I started rapping, man. These people was low fucking. Them boy had like the same shit them boy had. Like, fucking studio closet type of shit. Me 180 mic and shit like that. I used to just fuck with that shit. Fuck with the other tune, fuck with my voice. Just get comfortable with that shit until I had like that shit for real. Mm hmm. Yeah. Alright. One of your most popular songs a while ago was Wells Fargo. Like, can you tell us a little bit about the process? Uh, making that song. Process of that shit is so hard because it basically like the beat. It basically like the fucking the beat been given to me as a gift. So I don't really know what to say on that shit. So I really uh, originally recorded like five different songs on that one beat. But Wales Fargo been the last song I recorded and we just run with that one right there because it been catchy. All right. Then a while ago, you did a feature with uh, J.D. Youngin, right? Yeah. So how did you make that connection and make that song happen? Um, my people was actually, he, uh, my manager, he been fucking with uh, the show. So we actually had booked J.D. Youngin for a show. And then we used him for the feature when he got down here and shit like that. Mm -hmm. So we booked him like both. I think we booked him like two times. So we got familiar with him, got a little relationship with him and shit before all that shit had come about. All right. So after the after Wells Fargo and J.D. Young and you kind of went dark for a little while. Tell us, tell us what was going on. Why we ain't heard from Dale Boy in a while? I had kind of fall back from this shit, cause like, like that fame and shit. That shit don't really be about nothing. Mm -hmm. I trying to find like the business route of this shit. So right now, I focus on how the fuck I can get paid before being known. Like being known. For being paid, they ain't gonna ever sit with me. So that's how that shit just be. So, are you in this rap shit for the money, or are you in it because you love doing it? I in this shit for both. Mm -hmm. At first, I been in this shit because I love doing it, but now, like, I in this shit because this shit's sweet and there's a lot of money in this shit. I gotta get some of that shit too. So that's just how that shit be. All right, so how you feel about what the younger artists are doing for the city right now? Like a uh, long money, them boys. Like I, I used to put in all them boys, them boys doing this shit because we had the light on other places for so long, but now that shit finally getting on us. Mm -hmm. And now I'm motherfucking starting to see like, yeah, them boys really coming with that same shit these rap niggas got. And these same shit these rap niggas doing. Like, we doing them same shit, we just ain't, you feel me? Mm -hmm. We in the street, we in the streets. Mm -hmm. 